New Year, New You. <laughs> Just kidding, Mar Hollow. <laughs> Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. Happy New Year, and welcome back to my channel with by far the best nails I've done this year. Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't these rock <laughs> like a geode? <laughs> Today's video is sponsored yes. by the popular indie polish line Cirque Colors, or Cirque if you want to be Francaise, that I have been a fan of since I tried them in my fetus hollow sexual days. Cause, I mean, well, hollow. And now I've got their limited edition six piece facets collection. All beautiful scattered hollows in jelly bases with holographic flakes. Uh. And I've also got their 2016 limited edition holiday collection. Some of which include super shiny reflective chrome pigments and ugh, that rose gold. I die! Obviously, you don't find this kind of stuff at the drugstore. No, you find it online. Check the link in the description box. I'll show you where to get these. Cirque is made in New York City, USA, and they are for free, vegan, and cruelty free. Yay, Manchi! Oh, yeah, look at that hollow, flicky part. Oh. Isn't it amazing that companies still want to sponsor me when I talk like that? <laughs> I'm in love with the hollow. All right, now let's jump right into it and do the nails. I'm starting off with a peel off base coat because there's gonna be peel porn at the end of this video. No, for real though, stay till the end. It's really good, I promise. In my head, I had really wanted to do marble stone nails that looked like a geode. So I thought, why not try a water marble? Come on now, it's 2017, new year, maybe I can be a witch. Donald Trump is gonna be the actual president of the USA. Maybe I can water marble. Wow, shut up, Christine, and look at the flaky spread in the water. It's so beautiful. Oh wait, that's not what's supposed to happen. Damn it! I'ma keep on trying though. I'm not giving up. I've only found like 18 different ways to cheat a water marble. But yet I'm still here, not cheating. Well, that's not the look I was going for. Ooh, <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> okay, I'm not giving up. Damn it. It's like it's frozen. I try so hard, can't seem to get away from water marble. Girl, I try so hard. I'm not a witch, I'll never be able. It ain't my fault, cause I tried to. No, no, it actually is my fault. I just suck at this. <laughs> F this shit, I'm out, Akon. It just wasn't the look I was going for. You know, when you have something in your head and you can't make it come to life in reality. So I tried again. By doing drag marbles this time, but I'm not going for a drag marble or even a water marble look. I want like a geode nail, you know what I'm saying? With the layers of the rock, but not necessarily symmetrically marbled. Okay, Christine, this is not working. Time to go on the internet. Geode nail art. Let's find someone who's done this better than me. <laughs> hmm. Now, see, most of these look freehanded, and I'm not freehanding shit. We need something easy, people. Easy but beautiful. Breezy cover girl. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Ooh, exactly. That's what I mean. That's what's in my head. Except hollow. Now, where does this lead me? Where is the tutorial? Oh, Reddit. Reddit. Do, 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 do. This tutorial is great for explaining it. Oh, let's see. Who do we have here? It's my simple little pleasures. She once tried to teach my boyfriend how to water marble. Light touch, barely touching the surface. I'm taking notes here. No, you're not though. It went well for him, but I still never learned. In any case, this is what I want. She calls it the drip marble technique. As far as I'm aware, this is where this technique first originated and I've linked her video down below. Now I'm gonna show you how I did it. I'm using a yogurt lid because what we're going to do is we're going to pile a bunch of nail polish on the yogurt lid and then move it around to make it swish together. And first we begin with one of the hollows from the Cirque Facets collection. Make six large pools of your first hollow and add a drop of a different color hollow in the middle of the pools. And you're going to do that with all the different color polishes your hollow heart desires. Now this does not have to be perfect, okay? That's the beauty of this technique. And now for the fun part, don't let it dry and while it's still wet, you're just gonna lift up the yogurt lid and start tipping it around. Oh yeah, girl, let those hollows slide. Oh my god, this is so mesmerizing. 
Oh, who needs therapy when you can just drip marble hollows everywhere? <laughs> Basically, you just keep swirling it around until you get a pretty pattern that you're happy with. We're not dipping our finger into this. No, we're gonna let it dry flat on a table just like that. And then we're gonna use it as a sticker. In the meantime, you can make more sticker decals on another yogurt lid for your other nails. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This is by far one of the easiest ways to get a marble effect on your nails that doesn't require water or something very difficult. <laughs> Pretty much anyone can do this. Do you know how to pick something up and move it around? Well then, you could do this, even if you know shit about nail art. I feel like the Cirque Facets nail polishes already look like gemstones in a bottle. So obviously it makes sense to turn it into a rock looking thing. When you're done, you gotta let those dry into stickers that we're gonna peel off. I let mine dry for about five hours, so go about your day. Hmm, what should I do? Let's play with some hollows. Hmm, look at that beautiful icy green. This one's Winter Bloom from the Cirque 2016 Holidays collection that I wasn't able to fit into my geode look because I had too many colors. Oh, this one looks like a vampire that sparkles hollow in the sun. Oh, it's just me. Now these two are the metallics that have a beautiful foiled chromey look. Which one do you like better, the icy silvery blue chrome or the rose gold chrome? Let me know in the comments. Let's have a little war. Wow, I don't think my nails have ever been so sophisticated. All right, let's peel them off and get back to what we came here for. Five-ish hours later, my decals appear to be dry. Now you don't wanna wait an entire day or two for them to dry or else they're gonna be stiff and they're gonna crack. You want them to be just recently dried so that they're flexible and you can peel them up like this. Except that one was not completely dry. Don't do that. Now here's the twist. I thought that the design on top of the lid was what I would be putting on my nails, but then I flipped it over. And oh my god, that looks so much cooler. Beautiful, beautiful little geode. And oh, wait a second. What's that on my other hand? It's the beautiful rose gold polish by Cirque that I've been wearing all late last year in other videos because I love it so much. Rose gold, so sexy. Okay, back to work. Just look at the underside of the decals that I'd created. Beautiful. You kind of take a chance on these because sometimes you turn it over and it doesn't really look that good. And now we're gonna cut them out and put them on our nail just like stickers. I'm using a peel off base coat to make my nail sticky. You could use a regular base coat, up to you. Press down the decal, take an orange stick or a toothpick and gently press around the cuticle line so you can kind of outline the edges of the nail. You could use a metal cuticle tool to kind of cut the decal off to size. But I find if you do this, you can accidentally stab yourself. So <laughs> don't do that. That, unless it's with a thousand degree knife. You could also take a tiny pair of scissors and cut carefully around it. Use your finger or one of your tools to help smooth out the edges. This will especially be important if you have curved nails like mine. And the most important step to sealing the decal on your nail is to take a cleanup brush dipped in a bit of acetone. This kind of melts the sides of the nail polish so that it doesn't just pop off like a sticker. And now it is one with your nail. Finish off by adding a quick dry glossy taco of your choice. And bam! Would you believe I did these nails without water, no freehand, and no pre-printed nail art wraps? Well, you've seen this video, but if you hadn't, I dare you to do this drip marble technique with hollows and then go ask your friends and family how they think you did it. I bet you they will have no clue. If you have your eye on these beautiful hollows and metallics, don't forget that these two collections from Cirque Colors are a limited edition, so they're only available until they're sold out. So if you're looking to grab them, get them at the link below before they're gone for good. Cirque also makes some really nice creme polishes if you're into that, including their best seller that also happens to be my favorite one coat or black creme polish as you may have seen compete with other black polishes in my what's the best black polish video. But I know what you're really holding out for girl. Do you want to see the peel porn? <laughs> Peeling that gemstone right off my nails. Hey, now they're like a collector's item. If you flip them over, you see the other side of the pattern of the drip marble that I didn't end up using. That's so cool, dude. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Since it is the beginning of the year, why don't you guys leave me some comments down below on what you'd like to see on my channel in 2017. Tell me all of your thoughts. I want smart and stupid ones. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all later, bye. Thank you.